Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Jazakallah khair everyone for attending um, this occasion. It is a very special occasion for all of us. Um, at a time where most schools decided to opt out of having a graduation ceremony for their students, we decided this is the time we need a graduation ceremony and we need to recognize them and um, honor them for their accomplishments because these two years have been a roller coaster in their lives and they had to go through such a difficult time and as a parent, I absolutely understand what parents went through uh, since March, since the pandemic hit, uh, since last March. And it was a very tough ride for parents. So first of all, parents, thank you so much. You deserve every praise possible. Because really, you've done an amazing job. Overnight, you had to become teachers. And that is no joke. And of course, you know, parents, thank you, but our teachers, our staff, alhamdulillah, like I cannot praise them enough. The work they do, I mean, I honestly cannot, can I have my entire staff stand up? Uh, because you deserve more than a round of applause, but right now that's all we can give you. So can everyone stand up? Uh, really, what they did, is unbelievable, unheard of. Um, I cannot praise them enough, and I can start with Brother White, but there's too much to say, so I'm not going to. But Alhamdulillah, you know, without people like this, Mr. Nusrat and Brother White in the office, uh, not, I, I can't obviously work 24 7, but I will say Brother White does work 24 7. And I am not really lying when I say that. Um, and of course, our board, our board members, Brother Villa and Brother Yara here, can you guys stand up please? So we can definitely applaud them. Um, the way they have helped me and the school, I don't have words. They are always there. Sister, do you need anything? Does the school need anything? You know, financial help is one thing. Throwing this graduation is not easy, okay? And, and a lot of it, a lot of the financial help is coming from them, and they did not even think twice when I suggested that we have the graduation here. I can tell you no school is throwing a graduation like this. And they were so willing and happily, and they said, yes, our kids deserve it. And I think the time to celebrate really in your life is when you, do a, when, when you accomplish something. So I don't take graduations lightly. My daughter is graduating eighth grade, I'm throwing her through two parties. Because I think kids need to realize that you celebrate your accomplishments. Everything else in life, whatever, you know, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. But an accomplishment is when you're learning, when you're gaining an education, when you are succeeding in your life, that is the time to, success, uh, to celebrate. When you try, when you put your heart into what you're doing, when you put effort into what you're doing, Life goes on, you will have struggles, you will have challenges, and I know my students have heard me say this hundreds of times, right? Life is difficult. It's difficult. It's a test, and we all know it. It's, it, it. From the Quran, from the Hadith, from every place, every person you're going to hear, there are tests in your life, right? There are many tests in your life, but those tests should make you stronger. They should make you more patient. You should learn from them. You should not get frustrated. You should try to stay calm. You will make mistakes along the way. You learn from your mistakes. And now you are going to enter high school. It's a different world. And it's going to be a different world in al -Mamur. I will give you the heads up already. So a lot of what passed by in middle school is not going to pass by in high school. So build good habits so they stay with you for a lifetime, inshallah. Right? Whether we're speaking Islamically, whether we're speaking academically, you need to have good habits in your life. You need to manage your time. You need to be respectful to everyone. And you need to acknowledge and listen to your parents. Always remember, they are your parents. You are not their parents. They have a right over you. They can boss you around. And you know what you say? Sure. Gee, yes, I agree. That's the response. Whether you agree or not, oh 
wealth. Okay? They have a right over you. You are not their parents. The a true, you know, in my, in my own house, I have five siblings. I mean, six, six we include me, right? Six kids. Um, I don't remember in my life, at least purposely, ever, ever disobeying my parents. And I see the fruits of it throughout my life. The obedience that I had towards my parents, and my parents recognize it, and my parents say it till this day. And Allah has blessed me in so many ways because of this. Of course, these things do not go to wane. We will see the benefit of it in the Akhirah. But you will see the benefit of it in this world. Do not doubt that for a second. Allah will reward you for being respectful to them. They deserve all the respect. We don't need to agree with everything, but we need to respect it. You're not going to understand everything at this point in your life, but you need to respect it. You all did great. You all did amazing. We are all very proud of you. And we wish, you know, inshallah, may Allah always be with every single one of you and reward you in this world and the Akhira. I mean, uh, I'm honored to be the principal of this school. I have an amazing staff. I have amazing students, great kids. I love them. I learned so much from them. And, and their smiles mean so much to us. And inshallah, we will continue to provide them the education that they deserve. That is our responsibility. That is our job. And we will put it for, put forward as many steps as we can to help them along the way. Uh, but students, you do your job as well, inshallah. Okay? Jazakallah uh, khair, everyone, for attending. Assalamu alaikum.